Greetings and salutations to you all. Once again, it is me, the Ravenous Spectre. Deuces. Divorce! Anyways, this is going to be my very first pickups video. And the thing is, is that I, <laughs> I really know how to look out for deals. And this is actually, Leas, Leas, my southern accent is coming out, Leas. Um, this is actually, uh, probably since the beginning of the year, I want to say, from games that I've had from the beginning of the year up until now. I think there might be some other ones in my collection, but I can't really pick exactly where I got them out at. It could have been sometime last year, or it could have been this year. I'm not necessarily sure, so I'm just doing this to the best of my knowledge. I have a lot of games that I've collected throughout the throughout the years, so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, just going to try and go through these as quickly as possible, and you know, have a little chit chat with the crowd. Uh, so, <laughs> got a lot to go through here, but uh, anyways, here we go. We'll start out with the PSP game that I got. I was actually over in Georgia with my girlfriend, and we went by one of these places where uh, you know that sold used video games, used music, used books, used everything, DVDs, Blu-rays, all, and all of that. And I got a few things there. Now, all of this is all mixed up, so I could have gotten them there, I could have gotten them at another store, I could have gotten them at GameStop, I could have gotten them off eBay or Amazon or wherever. I can't remember, so I'm just going to show you the way that they are as of now. But um, the first one that I got on PSP is Warhammer 40,000 squad command uh it's like a, a strategy type of game like a i think i guess it's like a strategy rpg type of game um uh, you know i kind of wanted to get into the warhammer series warhammer space marine was pretty cool especially all those brutal melee attacks that they, they would perform it was kind of yeah you know it kind of got repetitive after a while but the combat was still pretty fun you know the story was but anyways uh <laughs> the oldest one that i actually have here in the entire collection here is actually ikari warriors I guess that's how you want to say it. Um, got it, uh, obviously, for Nintendo because I have a Retron 5. And I've been looking to actually get some games for it. And uh, that's kind of probably the only game that I have. Well, I do have some Game Boy Advance games that can go on it as well. But as it comes to like other games, I ended up buying the system. And I'm not really using it because games that I want right now are a little too expensive. So I'm kind of looking for deals elsewhere. And, you know, if I can come across a deal or something, or maybe if I ever take the chance to go to a yard sale or a garage sale, which I don't do, which I need to do, then maybe I'd actually end up finding something, maybe find some lots or something like that. Or maybe look on eBay. I don't know. That's just a thought. You know, check on there and check on Amazon and all of that. Uh, but I'm going to do one stack here. It's going to be the PlayStation Vita, which I actually got recently, probably like, I don't know, a month or two ago or something like that. And to be quite honest, I actually would have wished I would have got it much sooner than that because of the fact that I really do think it's a great system. It really does suck that it's pretty much, you know, going, phasing out of reality, I guess you could say, in terms of it being like a really... Uh, uh, I had a brain fart. Popular piece of hardware. I mean, it is a great piece of hardware. It's like having a PlayStation in your hand. I mean, at least to me it is, and I really do think it's great. I, I hate that I waited this long to do it, but, you know, I was still on the fence about it, but I pretty much came to the point that when I got it, I was like, well, I have a whole mess of games in my PlayStation Plus library, so I'm like, I'm definitely just going to go ahead, bite the bullet, and go ahead and get one, and plus, there's RPGs that's only on this system. Of course, you know, I'm a big RPG fan, and I definitely want to end up experiencing those on the system but <laughs> there's a batch of, of Vita games there uh, the first one here is the first one that I actually got which is Tale of Hearts R because I'm a big fan of the Tales of series and uh, we got Resistance Burning Skies there um, Silent Hill Book of Memories which I heard Resistance Burning Burning Size was really awesome, so I had to give it a shot, you know, because I like the other Resistance games. The Silent Hill Book of Memories, yeah, it kind of got some pros and some cons, but I got it really cheap, and I definitely wanted to give it a shot because it kind of has like an overhead action RPG kind of feel to it. And, of course, Uncharted Golden Abyss, absolutely, because I'm a big fan of the Uncharted series. Freedom Wars, another JRPG there, like JRPG, action RPG, whatever. Lost Dimensions. I need to actually get back into playing some more games on my Vita because I was at one point that I got back on my PS4 and then I was actually trying to look through my backlog on PS3 and I've been playing games on there. So yeah, I'm just everywhere. Uh, there's Ease, Memories of Silceta or Selketa or Kella 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 Whatever. I don't know. But yeah, um, 
Persona 4 Golden, which I heard is like a real staple that everybody needs to have in their Vita collection. You know, I actually ended up getting it dirt cheap, as a matter of fact, on play on uh, PlayStation Network for PlayStation 3, you know, with their PlayStation 2 Classic, so they have there. But I got it for like two bucks or something on there, and I was like, well, I need to go ahead and get Persona 4 Golden on Vita because it has extra stuff, and it has Vita features and trophies and all this and that. So I went ahead and definitely went on for it. I'm going to start picking up stacks here so I don't have to keep bending down over and over and throwing my back out because I'm an old son of a bitch. Well, not really, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, and, well, I got some PlayStation 1, as far as I'm concerned, they're classics here. We got Reload. Re uh, reload. Reloaded, I should say. Because Loaded was, <laughs> that was like one of the first games that I ever played on PlayStation 1. It was just freaking awesome. It was so stupid and over the top. I'll tell you this right now. I would love to see the Loaded series come back on PlayStation 4. Can you imagine that? Even if it was like a digital download. That would just be badass, man. Just have like a brand new Loaded, re call it Re-Reloaded or Super Loaded or Massively Loaded, whatever it is, you know. It's like that Jeff Foxworthy joke. I met one guy that thought, uh, what was it? Uh, loading the dishwasher meant getting his wife drunk. Uh, you know, loaded joke, whatever. But <laughs> uh, and of course, we got one of my favorite all time series, and I hope it's really making a comeback. I truly hope that it is, uh, from what I've heard of rumors, it is. Not that stupid MOBA multiplayer battle arena bullshit with Nosgoth, but that's Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain. I actually ended up winning, uh, actually, uh, a um, contest, as a matter of fact, when I was a kid. Uh, Probably when I first became a teenager, and I ended up winning a PlayStation 1 and like five games from Activision or Crystal Dynamics or something like that. I ended up winning five games and the PlayStation 1. And what it was was I actually had to, it was an EGM, I believe, Electronic Gaming Monthly, I think. And I had to answer exactly where Nightmare Creatures took place at. And it was London, I think it was. I don't know. But I got it right, and I ended up winning, and I won Nightmare Creatures along with Blood Omen Legacy of Kane and some pro wrestling game and like two other games that I can't even remember. One of them was like a fighting game. I think it was called Versus. I think that was it. Or so, I don't know. The Versus sucked. Uh, but anyways, man, what do you want? You want a contest. You got to have a free. You just have to pay postage to send the shit in. Uh, got a couple Wii games here. Super Paper Mario. I actually got this at a really good deal. Everywhere you see this now, at least from, from what I've been seeing, it costs anywhere between $20 to $50. I got that thing for 10 bucks. So, yeah, definitely got a deal on that. Counterforce, I think this is actually a, a gem on the Wii. It, it's kind of it's kind of like a, uh, maybe I guess you could kind of see it as maybe like a bullet hill type of uh, rail shooter kind of thing. It's, it's still pretty awesome. And, of course, I had to take uh, advantage of Nintendo Selects and ended up getting Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And also on the Wii, I ended up getting Kirby's Epic Yarn. I really been wanting to try this out for sure. Got a few PlayStation 2 games here. We got Dawn of Mana. We got Animusha 3, Demon Siege. And we have Spartan Total Warrior. Um, well, I haven't even played Dawn of Mana yet, but Animusha 3 and, and Spartan Total Warrior, definitely, definitely great games. And got a stack of PlayStation 4 games here. We have Gravity Rush. Obviously, I said I got a Vita, but I realized this was coming out on PlayStation 4, and I'm like, screw the Vita, I'm going to get it on PlayStation 4. And sure enough, I did. Uh, Rayman Legends. I hate the fact that I actually had missed out on that and when it first came out. I was like, and then I started to play it. I'm like, damn, this game is really awesome. It's all colorful and bright and cheery and just freaking epic. I actually got two, these two today, as a matter of fact. Knights of Azure, uh, Japanese action role playing game. Really liking it. Legend of K Anniversary. I also have this on PlayStation 2. And to be quite honest, this game is, is pretty freaking awesome. It's really amazing how they ended up pretty much just releasing this under our noses. And we didn't even know that he was even coming out until like the last moment. At least I didn't anyways. And I have it on PlayStation 2. And I thought it was pretty cool. And then I realized that it was coming out on PlayStation 4. And honestly, when you actually put this in the PlayStation 4, you can definitely tell a difference than you can from the PlayStation 2. Yeah, it has some of those PlayStation 2-ish type of features. But overall, it honestly seems like it's a good fit on PlayStation 4. I, I'm definitely digging it for sure, especially in the character models and just how bright and crisp all the colors are and all of that. Uh, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, which as a matter of fact, I also have that on PlayStation 3, but I got this one really cheap and I wanted to 
to definitely try it on PlayStation 4 and go through it again and actually complete the stuff that I never had a chance to complete last time because I got involved in other games. So I definitely went ahead and did that and also take advantage of the PlayStation 4 features. Uh, I actually ended up rebuying this again, which is Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's buggy as hell from what I've heard. And I've even heard with all the patches and everything they've done, it's still buggy as hell. I don't really know. I'll have to try that out for myself. But obviously I got their first DLC pack for free because I first bought the game back whenever it released and then ended up downloading it so I still had it on my you know uh, username or whatever to be able to go ahead and download it again so I'm gonna go back through and give that one a go considering I never had a chance to finish it but I've always been an Assassin's Creed fan you know I mean I got the Assassin's Creed Syndicate poster back up there that you can half see but anyways yeah Assassin's Creed series is getting kinda dull and I'm glad they're actually taking an extra year to work on the one that's supposed to be based in Egypt apparently which I think is gonna be pretty badass so hopefully they'll end up doing the series justice once again, considering they're taking a couple years off of it. Um, God of War 3 Remastered. I have this also on PlayStation 3. Uh, like I said, same thing goes with Tomb Raider. Got it really cheap. Definitely wanted to give it a shot on PlayStation 4. Dark Siders, Death, Defend Death, 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 Definitive Edition. Definitely a great game. <laughs> PlayStation 3 as well. Same deal. Uh, Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 HD Remastered. <laughs> You know, it's kind of funny, actually. I own the Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies, um, only the extended edition. Well, I should say I only own the extended editions of the Hobbit, but I own the theatrical and the extended editions of Lord of the Rings. I got the extended editions of Lord of the Rings on DVD. I have the special editions of the extended editions that actually also came with the theatrical editions on DVD. And I also have the Blu -ray, the extended Blu-rays of Lord of the Rings on DVD. It's my most favorite movie series of all time. You know, I know it's crazy, but I guess I just, when I know there's something new going on with it, I definitely got to have it. And I definitely did the same thing with Final Fantasy X. Not with X-2 so much, but X-2 came with it, so what the hell. But X, I swear, dude, I'm just like, oh my god, you know, this is... This is a, a game, honestly, it's one of my favorite Final Fantasies, and I have it on PlayStation 2. I got it on PlayStation 3. This is before I knew anything about it coming out on PlayStation 4, and then I found out it was coming out on, on PlayStation 4, and I said, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to get it. Sure enough, I did when it was really low. I think I got it for like 20 bucks or something like that, you know, which is fine enough with me, you know, I, I, but I'm not paying no full price for something that I already own or that I already have bought previously, you know, at full price. Not happening. So any of these remasters, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I'm definitely going to get them as cheap as possible. And I also got Saints Row 4, Reelected, and Gat Out of Hell. Never played Gat Out of Hell, but hell, it came with it. <laughs> hell, it came with it. Ha, you get that. Uh, and, but I have Saints Row, uh, 4, uh, is that 4, it just says Saints Row, Re oh, okay, it's, fuck, yeah, Saints Row 4 re-elected, yeah, I have Saints Row 4 on PS3, but, you know, I got it dirt, really cheap, well, not dirt cheap, but I got it really cheap, and, hell, if it comes with all the DLC, especially with the Get Out of Hell standalone expansion, along with, like, an upgraded, uh, Saints Row 4, definitely went ahead and went for it. Um, Shadow Warrior on PlayStation 4, definitely an awesome game. I actually ended up getting it on PC for like $7 like a year and a half ago, something like that. It was like one of the first games that I actually had bought on my PC on off of Steam, like really cheap. And, uh, excuse me, sure enough, it, uh, you know, it's, it's really sweet. And I definitely went ahead and jumped on it for PlayStation 4, got that cheap as well. And of course, you know, I'm really more of a console guy than I am PC, so I was really happy to, to get it on PS4. And Sleeping Dogs, Definitive Edition, Definitive edition. Yes, yeah, I almost said Death Vindictive from, you know, Dark Starkers 2. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. I <laughs> also have this on PlayStation 3, but I got that. I got Sleeping Dogs for, I think, maybe about 15 bucks or something. And the thing was, was that it was really awesome on PlayStation 3. I have it on PS3, but the, sleep, the Definitive Edition ends up coming with all of the DLC. So technically, I ended up paying for what you probably would pay for one DLC pack for Sleeping Dogs, I believe. So I got all the DLC and all of that, along with the core game and, you know, all the features on the PlayStation 4 and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Well, I got one last stack here, and uh, at least from, from what I know, what I can remember, from what I got, you know, beginning of this year kind of thing um let's see uh nintendo ds got orcs and elves actually this was a mobile uh game uh phone game as a matter of fact uh from what i had heard and it's really sweet it's from the creators of doom and it's 
pretty badass. I mean, going around, having like that old school first person kind of dungeon crawling thing and going through and slaying orcs and other little baddies and things of that nature in a nice little action RPG type of setting. Uh, Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, that's the only one I'm going to be getting. Fuck Conquest because I heard it's like balls hard and I don't like balls hard games. Uh, I don't like my balls hard. Uh, you might have a medical condition if you have hard balls. I don't know. That's just my thing. Uh, maybe. Whatever. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I'm definitely digging it. I'm actually digging it more than I am the previous Fire Fire Emblem because of the extra things that they end up adding into it. Uh, Project Exome. I haven't got the second one yet because I haven't really gotten a chance for me to really get into the first one. So I'm not even going to bother with the second one at the moment. Uh, Castlevania. Order of Ecclesia. I guess that's how you say it. Ecclesia. Seizure. Uh, seizure. Legia. Legions of seizures. Seizures of the legions or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's honestly really badass. I actually have been meaning to get this one for a very long time now, and I'm so glad that I finally have it because it's, it was like, I think it was like the last Castlevania, the Castlevania, the last Castlevania that was released on Nintendo DS, so I definitely got it. It's, it's pretty badass for sure. Uh, Syndicate on PlayStation 3, heard this one was really good, got it for like three, four dollars or something like that, and I'm not disappointed in it. Turok for PlayStation 3. I always have been wanting to try it out because I was a big fan of the Turok games back in the day. Uh, well, actually, you guys have seen me do this one. It's uh, Trails of Cold Steel. Um, yeah, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, I did it on one of my other videos. Um, but, yeah, definitely awesome. I actually ended up rebuying this once again uh, because I, I had it at one point, and then I sold it for whatever godforsaken reason, and then I got it for free on PlayStation Plus, and I went ahead and beat it on PlayStation Plus, and there's some glitches in the digital version that was never in the physical version. Like I've said before, there's always going to be some difference in digital and physicals because I've had experiences with them. It was like where I would actually go into a city and go into a building, and you know how you first go into a city, it ends up showing the cutscene. Well, after that, I ended up coming out of the building, one of the buildings that I went into, into the city, and it replayed the cutscene again. Every time I would do that, it would keep replaying the cutscene. Never did that in the physical version. So I ended up getting this once again. I know you guys didn't even know what the hell I was talking about when I was talking about going into the city and this, that, and the other. I, I apologize. Lord, I apologize. I apologize so damn much. And be with the pygmies in New Guinea. Amen. Uh, anyways, heh. Uh, yeah, Larry the Cable Guy. Great guy. Um, it's uh, Reckoning. Um, Kingdoms of Armor. I was talking, I was telling you guys about shit. You didn't even know what the fuck type of game I was even saying until I brought it up. It's like, hey, this is what the fuck it is. But yeah, it's Kingdoms of Armor Lore Reckoning. Honestly, one of my favorite games, especially in the PlayStation 3. And you gotta admit, that cover is just metal as hell. As badass as it can possibly be. Um, so I ended up getting into a playthrough of that, and I got Mercenaries 2, World in Flames. I never had a chance to play it, but I got it for like $7 or something like that. And I really did like the first Mercenaries game back on PlayStation 2, and this one came out on PlayStation 3. And hell, you gotta love a game where you just go around and just cause create complete chaos. I mean, come on. You know, just have fun with it. Uh, Naughty Bear, the Gold Edition. I never had a chance to play this. I played a little bit of it at my girlfriend's, and she thought it was really cute and got into it and was giggling like a maniac, you know. So I was def I was like, oh, well, I definitely found one that she'll definitely like and want to get into. Hope she doesn't start chasing me with a machete. But that's okay. Um, and <laughs> anyways, this game I actually ended up getting sometime in the past. It's uh, Lord of the Rings, World of uh, World in the North. War in the North. <laughs> Uh, I actually had had this game uh, like probably around the time that it first came out. I think I, I liked it. I loved the brutal combat of being able to dismember orcs and goblins and just all in slow motion decapitating them, chopping their limbs off, all of that. The story was meh, but the action in it was fun and everything. Of course, I liked the action RPG-ness of it. And uh, the funny thing was there was one point where I actually had given up on the game because I couldn't get through it. I don't know if I got through it on my own or I ended up actually going online and found some people to play with. And then we got through that area. Area. And then I couldn't get. I don't think I got. I don't think I tried to get through the last area of the game. But I did end up actually getting help from some from some people online, and we went ahead and beat it. But I want to go back through this game, and I want to do everything that I didn't have a chance to do before, and see if there might have been something that I missed, or just gain some trophies, or get some, you know, uh, maybe do some other side quests if there was anything like that in there. Uh, Dead to Rights Retribution, uh, definitely an awesome game. Absolutely, uh, <laughs> it's it's really well it's dead to rights what can i say you know i played the first one and the second one on playstation 2 and um i thought they were really cool this really doesn't seem like it's too much different per se except it seems like it's a bit more brutal and it can get a I get I, yeah i can't talk sorry it's really late it's like 2 10 in the morning 
Um, it got kind of repetitive with the first two games, but I went ahead and cheated through them, I think, with like a Game Shark or a, or a Code Breaker or whatever. But this one is, is pretty sweet. I really wish you just had guns and stuff on you at all times instead of you just going through and picking random weapons off of enemies and using them and running out of ammo, and then you got to go up and melee them and all of that. This is the type of game that you really would play on easy because you risk actually dying a lot. Anyways... Uh, Afro Samurai, I love the anime series. I really do wish that there was more coming out because it's one of my favorite ones. The animation is in it, in it is gorgeous. If you guys haven't checked out the anime, definitely check it out. And I had to play, I had to get the game and, and try it out and play it for sure because I love the anime. Got the game really cheap, so I wanted to see what type of differences there would possibly be when it comes to the games and the uh, uh, the anime and whatnot. And the last game for this evening is <laughs> a great one to end with <laughs> is a uh, Golden Axe Beast Rider. I've always wanted to try this out. I've heard cons about it, pros about it, this, that, and the other. You know, opinions are like assholes. Everyone thinks that theirs doesn't stink. But yeah, I, uh, I got it really cheap. I mean, that's a pretty metal cover, anyways. It's really badass. So I definitely wanted to try it. I wanted to play it out. I wanted to to give it a go and and see what happened. <laughs> My Tower of Games just fell over on the damn floor. I hope to God Almighty ain't none of them broke. <laughs> Apparently, I must have stacked them up just a little too high, and they were kind of leaning on the edge there, and I was kind of leaning over, and, you know, they kind of fell and went on the floor, and I'm just like, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just telling you guys about these games, and here it is all of a sudden, they just fall over on the floor. Now I probably don't have any games. If they're broken all to pieces, nah, I'm just kidding. They just fell off of my PC onto the carpeted floor. You know, it's like a hardwood floor or nothing like that, or a metal floor, or an electrified floor, or acid floor, or whatever. I'm getting way out of the spectrum of reality here. Um, <laughs> anyways, but anyways, <laughs> this is a long-ass video. It's probably the longest one I've ever done. I always say that, you know, any, any of them that I do. But anyways... Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that pickup video. If I some months down the road or whatever, if I end up getting a nice good collection together again, I'll definitely end up showing you guys another pickups video or whatever the case may be. And that's it. So I will end this like I always do. Later, taters. Later, 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 later. Oh Jesus Christ! That's 22 minutes and six seconds. Damn.